Tyrese John Halliburton, born February 29, 2000, is an American professional basketball player for the Indiana Pacers of the National Basketball Association, NBA. A point guard, he played college basketball for the Iowa State Cyclones and was selected by the Sacramento Kings 12th overall in the 2020 NBA Draft. In 2022, Halliburton was acquired by the Indiana Pacers as part of a trade package for DeMantis Sabonis. He earned back-to-back -back East All-Star selections as a reserve in 2023 and as a starter in 2024. Born in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Halliburton was a consensus three-star recruit from Oshkosh North High School, whom he led to a state championship in his senior season. As a freshman with Iowa State, he set the program's single-game assists record. He had breakout success as a sophomore and was named to the second-team All-Big 12 Conference despite suffering a season-ending wrist injury. In 2019, Halliburton led the United States to a gold medal and earned all tournament team honors at the FIBA Under-19 World Cup in Heraklion, Greece. In 2024, he was on the national team's roster once again for the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. High School Career Halliburton played basketball for Oshkosh North High School in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. As a sophomore, he was named to the All Fox Valley Association, FVA, second team and defensive team to I. In his junior season, Halliburton averaged 18 points, 6 assists, and 5 rebounds per game, earning FVA Player of the Year and Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Association, WBCA, Division I All-State accolades with his team falling just short of the state tournament. As a senior, he averaged 22.9 points, 6.2 assists, 5.1 rebounds, 3.5 steals and 1.7 blocks per game, leading Oshkosh North to a 26-1 record dot on February 18, 2018, he scored a career-high 42 points in a win over Kokana High School and West Virginia recruit Jordan McCabe Halliburton scored 31 points, including 24 in the second half, and shot 18 of 18 from the free throw line in a Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association Division I state championship victory over Brookfield East High School. His program's first state title did he was named Oshkosh Northwestern All-Area Player of the Year, Wisconsin Gatorade Player of the Year, and FBA Co-Player of the Year. Halliburton was selected to the WBCA Division I All-State Team and the USA Today All-USA Wisconsin First Team. Recruiting Considered a three-star recruit by major recruiting services, he committed to playing college basketball for Iowa State on September 18, 2017. College Career Halliburton with Iowa State in 2019 On November 6, 2018, Halliburton made his college debut for Iowa State, posting 12 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists in a 79-53 win over Alabama State he scored a season-high 16 points in an 82-55 victory against Omaha on November 26. On December 9, Halliburton recorded 15 points and 17 assists with one turnover, in a 101-65 win over Southern, his 17 assists were the most by an Iowa State player in any game, surpassing the previous record set by Eric Heft in 1974. Through 35 appearances in his freshman season, Halliburton averaged 6.8 points, 3.6 assists, and 1.5 steals per game that he was the only NCAA Division I true freshman, other than Zion Williamson, to accumulate at least 50 steals and 30 blocks. Halliburton had an assist-to-turnover ratio of 4.5, which led the Big 12 Conference and ranked second in Division I. Halliburton was named Big 12 Player of the Week on November 11, 2019, during his sophomore season, after averaging 13.5 points and 13.0 assists in wins over Mississippi Valley State and Oregon State. On November 27, he scored a season-high 25 points to go with 9 rebounds and 5 assists. In an 83-76 loss to Michigan at the Battle for Atlantis. On January 4, 2020, Halliburton recorded 22 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists in an overtime loss to TCU, the first triple double by an Iowa State player. Since Monty Morris in 2016. He was subsequently named Big 12 Player of the Week for the second time, after fracturing his left wrist on February 8 during a game against Kansas State, Halliburton was ruled out for the rest of the season. He averaged 15.2 points, 5.9 rebounds, 6.5 assists, and 2.5 steals per game as a sophomore. Halliburton was named to the second team All Big 12. After the season, he announced that he would enter the 2020 NBA draft and forego his remaining college basketball eligibility. Professional career Sacramento Kings, 2020 2022. 
2020-21, All-Rookie Honors. Halliburton was selected with the 12th pick by the Sacramento Kings in the first round of the 2020 NBA Draft. On November 27, 2020, the Kings officially announced they had signed Halliburton. On December 23, 2020, Halliburton made his NBA debut, coming off the bench in a 124-122 overtime win over the Denver Nuggets with 12 points, 4 assists, 2 rebounds and a block. On April 14, 2021, Halliburton recorded a career-high 6 steals in a 123-111 11 loss to the Washington Wizards. On May 2, 2021, Halliburton suffered a left knee injury against the Dallas Mavericks, although an MRI later revealed no ligament damage, it was announced Halliburton would miss the last seven games of the 2020-21 season for the Kings as precaution. After the season, Halliburton finished third in Rookie of the Year voting and was named to the NBA All-Rookie First Team. 2021-22, Mid-Season Trade on January 29, 2022, Halliburton scored his Kings then career high 38 points along with seven assists, three rebounds, and two steals in a 103 to 101 loss against the Philadelphia 76ers. On February 5, Halliburton posted his Kings then career high 17 assists along with 13 points, six rebounds, and two steals in a 113 to 103 win over the Oklahoma City Thunder. Indiana Pacers, 2022, present. 2021-22, first season in Indy. On February 8, 2022, Halliburton, Buddy Heald, and Tristan Thompson were traded to the Pacers in exchange for DeManta Sabonis, Justin Holliday, Jeremy Lamb, and a 2023 second-round pick. At the time of the trade, Pacers coach Rick Carlisle referred to Halliburton as an elite young point guard that affects the game positively in many, many ways. On February 11, Halliburton made his Pacers debut in a 120-113 loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers, logging 23 points in addition to six assists, three rebounds, and three steals. On February 13, in his second game with the Pacers, Halliburton posted 22 points and 16 assists in a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. On February 16, Halliburton recorded 21 points and 14 assists in his first win with the Pacers, defeating the Washington Wizards 113-108. Halliburton participated in the NBA's 2022 Rising Stars Challenge alongside teammate Chris Duarte, for Halliburton and Desmond Bain were the winners of the 2022 Clorox Clutch Challenge, an event for the 75th season at the 2022 NBA All-Star Weekend. On March 23, in the first game against his former team, Halliburton recorded 13 points, 15 assists, and three steals in a one-point loss to the Sacramento Kings. On April 1, Halliburton scored 30 points in 25 minutes on an efficient 10-11 shooting from the field. 6-6 six six from three, and 4-4 four four from the free throw line, in a loss to the Boston Celtics the next game, on April 3, Halliburton tallied a near-triple-double with 19 points, 17 assists, 9 rebounds, and 0 turnovers against the Detroit Pistons, recording the most assists in a game by a pacer since T.J. McConnell in the 2020-21 season. 2022-23, first All-Star selection. On October 19, 2022, in the season opener, Halliburton scored 26 points and dished out seven assists in a loss to the Washington Wizards. On November 21, Halliburton was selected Eastern Conference Player of the Week, leading the Pacers to a 3 0 record while averaging 21 points, 11 assists, and four rebounds. On November 29, Halliburton became the first player in NBA history to record 40-plus assists and zero turnovers in a three-game stretch, averaging 20 points, 13.3 assists, 6 rebounds, and 2.3 steals per game. On December 10, Halliburton recorded 35 points on 12-15 shooting from the field and 7-8 from three, along with nine assists and three steals in a 136-133 loss against the Brooklyn Nets. On December 21, in a 117-112 win against the Boston Celtics, Halliburton tallied 33 points, eight assists. On 12 to 24 shooting from the field and 6 to 13 from 3.2 days later, on December 23, Halliburton made a game, winning three-pointer and finished with a then career-high 43 points on a Pacers franchise record 10-3. Pointers made along with seven assists in a 121 to 118 win over the Miami Heat. On January 12, 2023, Halliburton missed two weeks due to elbow and knee injuries, with the team going 1-9 in his absence to tie in his return on February 2 against the Los Angeles Lakers. Halliburton tallied 26 points, 12 assists, and two steals. On February 13, Halliburton scored 30 points on 12-24 shooting, 
along with 12 assists and three steals in a loss against the Utah Jazz, Halliburton was named to his first-ever NBA All-Star game in 2023 as a reserve guard for the Eastern Conference, recording 18 points. Three assists and a rebound, Halliburton and teammate Buddy Heald were selected to participate in the 2023 NBA three-point contest, where they both lost in the finals to Damian Lillard. On February 28, Halliburton scored 32 points on 9-18 shooting, along with seven rebounds and six assists in a 124-122 win over the Dallas Mavericks. On March 5, Halliburton made his second game, winning three-pointer of the season in a 125-122 win against the Chicago Bulls, finishing with 29 points on 11-17 field goals, 6-9. From three, along with 11 assists, the next day, on March 6, against the Philadelphia Six Airs, Halliburton posted his 30th double, double of the season with 39 points and 16 assists, becoming the first player in Pacers franchise history to record 30-plus points and 15-plus assists in a single game. The next game, on March 9, Halliburton scored 29 points while dishing out a career. High 19 assists in a 134-125 overtime win over the Houston Rockets, Halliburton became the 15th player in NBA history to average 20-plus points and 10-plus assists for an entire season while becoming the first to do so on 40% plus 3-point shooting. 2023-24, first All-NBA selection and Eastern Conference Finals. On July 1, 2023, Halliburton agreed to a max contract extension with the Pacers worth up to $260 million over five years. The same day, it was announced that Halliburton would represent the United States men's national team at the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. On November 4, Halliburton tied a then-career-high 43 points and added 12 assists in a one-point loss to the Charlotte Hornets. He also became the first player in Pacers history to put up at least 40-plus points and 10-plus assists in a game. On November 6, two days later, Halliburton recorded 23 points and 8 assists along with three threes made, in a 41-point win over the San Antonio Spurs, giving head coach Rick Carlisle his 900th career win. On November 12, Halliburton recorded 25 points, 17 assists, and zero turnovers in a loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. He became the third youngest player in NBA history with 25-plus points and 15-plus assists with no turnovers, joining Allen Iverson and Chris Paul. On November 14, two days later, Halliburton recorded a near-triple, double with 33 points, 15 assists, 7 rebounds, 0 turnovers, along with 7 threes made, in a 2023 in-season tournament win over Joel Embiid. Tyrese Maxey, and the Philadelphia 76 Airs, he became just the fifth player in NBA history to have 30-plus points, 15-plus assists, and zero turnovers in a single game. Joining John Stockton, Chris Paul, LeBron James, and James Harden, he also became the first player in NBA history with 25-plus points, 15-plus assists, and zero turnovers in consecutive games since tracking began in 1977-78. On November 30th, Halliburton scored a career-high 44 points along with 10 assists in a 142-132 loss against the Miami Heat. Halliburton was named to the 2021 USA Men's Select Team, working directly with the U.S. Olympic men's basketball team during training camp in Las Vegas, Nevada, prior to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, in which the United States were crowned champions for the 16th time alongside Halliburton. The select team consisted of young NBA talent Anthony Edwards, Darius Garland, Tyler Harrow, Keldon Johnson, Miles Bridges, Sadik Bay, and future Pacers teammate Obi Toppin. Halliburton was selected to represent the United States men's national team at the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup in Pase, Philippines, at Mall of Asia Arena. The team consisted of young established NBA stars alongside Halliburton including Brendan Ingram, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brunson, Jaron Jackson Jr., Mikal Bridges, Paolo Banchero, and more. On August 28, 2023, Halliburton recorded nine points, three assists, two rebounds, a steal, and a team, high three blocks, in a 109-81 win over Greece. Two days later, he recorded a team, high six assists to go along with six points, four rebounds, and a steal, in a 110-62 win over Jordan. On September 1, 2023, Halliburton again led the team with six assists to go along with 10 points, two rebounds, and two steals in an 85-73 win over Montenegro. 
Two days later, Halliburton tied Jalen Brunson's team, high of seven assists, in a 110-104 loss to Lithuania. On September 5, 2023, in the 100-63 quarterfinals win against Italy, Halliburton scored a personal career, high 18 points, a team, high five assists, as well as four rebounds, and three steals, on six to eight shooting from three. Effectively, he became the third player in history to make six plus three pointers in a quarterfinal game at the World Cup, joining Patty Mills with six in 2019 and Larry Ayuso with seven in 2002. On September 8 and 10, 2023, Halliburton again led the team with eight assists and seven assists, respectively, in losses to Germany in the semi finals and Canada in the bronze game. Across eight games, Halliburton averaged 8.6 points, 5.6 assists, 3 rebounds, 1.5 steals, 1.1 blocks, shooting 51% from the field and 47% from three, on 21.5 minutes per game off the bench. He led the team in steals and assists, helping the United States to a fourth-place finish, successfully qualifying for the 2024 Summer Olympics.